Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP, and today we wanted to bring you a short video to cover a recent event that we participated in. Uh, here in uh, Somerset, Kentucky, we had the Summer Nights Cruise, which has uh, grown into a big event for car enthusiasts. Lots of uh, classic cars and muscle cars and all kinds of loud noises and things going on. Uh, really a pretty cool event. And uh, we uh, took out our newly uh, wrapped comm trailer uh, that you can see there in the picture, and we set up and hung out uh, there for the day and just had a really great time. <clears throat> we had, uh, I think all told, uh, 14 of our members uh, helped man uh, the uh, the uh, trailer, the booth. We were running a special event station, uh, Kilo 4 Sierra, Kentucky for Somerset. And this was the 20th anniversary of Summer Nights Cruise. So it gave us an opportunity to get out and, uh, and kind of uh, meet the public get our trailer out, let people see it uh, a little bit more, and also practice setting up our equipment. So we're going to go over uh, some of that here in just a, a moment, uh, and we have a couple of video snippets coming up. And so we just want to kind of cover this, and we're going to be doing more and more of these events as best we can. We may even have a, another one in November coming up this year, maybe some next year, of course. So uh, we have the... Um, Tar Heel, uh, the, the Tar Heel setup on the rear of the trailer, we have four bracket points where we can set up antennas. So we had the Tar Heel for HF communication setup. Uh, it works really well for us. Uh, we also had, towards the front of the trailer, a cell phone booster and also a two meter antenna setup so that we could work with uh, all of those frequencies and bands and have communications to our repeater site. Uh, and also, of course, to make uh, HF contacts for the special event station. So we're going to go into uh, a little bit more details on that in just a moment. Uh, so we'll bring you folks right back. All right. And I also wanted to cover on this still picture, folks, that we also had our solar panels on display. We have the, the uh, composition of those in a video showing how we made those and kind of made brackets for those so that we can deploy those whenever we might need to. We have a 25-foot cable currently, so we can have some flexibility on positioning on either side of the trailer or uh, kind of out the back or wherever the sun might be. And then we also had the generator out there, 3000 uh, Honda 3000 i generator. Now in this particular setup that we had, we actually had mains power, shore power over uh, over sort of off to the right and we had some hundred foot extension cords. Uh, the trailer also has two house batteries so we have uh, about 200 amps of power uh, in the house which can actually run the radio equipment for quite a long time and then we also have other portable type power capabilities. So no matter where we might go and no matter what the weather conditions, we can provide power to whatever situation we're in uh, and wherever we may go. Now, the radios we used for this event, we had the uh, ICOM 7300 uh, that uh, is part of uh, Brian's home station. He also has it configured so it can be put in a box as a go kit, and we were using that. Obviously, those are great radios, uh, and we made some contacts with that. <clears throat> and then we also had another go box uh, that AC40M, uh, Don, our president, has put together a radio he's had for a while. It's a really nice radio. It's the uh, Kenwood 480 SAT. Uh, he's got this again also configured as a, as a go box and uh, we had this one out and we also made some contacts with this radio. Again, it's a very nice radio. Uh, if you're looking for HF radio, it, uh, it's uh, not a, a real small radio, but it is designed to be portable or uh, I guess mobile uh, if you want it to go that way. You could mount the main unit in the trunk and have the head unit up at the dash or whatever. So that's a very nice radio, and we used that one uh, as well for this contest. Again, both those radios worked really well. We had the waterfall going. We had the SDR. Uh, had an SDR uh, Uno uh, RS uh, P1, I think it was, 1A set up. So we had our big waterfall, and uh, we also had the, um, the security camera set up, uh, and uh, also we're watching 2-meter propagation. Uh, 
uh, inside the trailer there. Now for the sort of booth part of our setup, we had the canopy set up. We had a table with some uh, various radios on display. Uh, one of our members, Paul, who also happens to work with the uh, Summer Nights folks, uh, brought several radios. Uh, uh, KY4 BDP Brian uh, had a had a radio there, uh, handy talkie mobile radio. Uh, you know, sort of sort of shack style radios, uh, and with some information there, getting started uh, uh, with ham radio. Another go kit two meter. Um, I believe that's two meter. Uh, you know, 70 centimeter radio on the right radio. And we had an example of the QSL cards for the event as well. Uh, so we had that set up over there so the folks could look at those and get an idea, uh, you know, what do radios look like? What do, what do amateur radios look like? Uh, and as always, we got several questions about CB, and that's okay because a lot of folks start with CB and uh, sometimes come over to amateur radio. We also had a table uh, set up with some of our uh, El Car Club uh, merchandise. We have some uh, some t-shirts and windbreakers and uh, sweatshirts and things that we had on display there for any of our uh, club members or any of the public uh, to purchase if they wished. And we also had a little weather radio, if you see it there on the left-hand side. Just sort of a nice little weather radio with several types of, of uh, power capabilities, solar and battery and, uh, you know, recharge hand crank. Uh, a lot of ways to uh, to run that one. Uh, it actually has quite a few capabilities. Uh, so we had, to, ha had a raffle for that. We're going to be continuing that raffle for a little while. And uh, we'll eventually be giving, uh, giving that away. Uh, and then we also had a table, as you'll see here in a moment, uh, set up with uh, all kinds of information from the ARRL, you know, on amateur radio. And, you know, getting started, uh, testing, just all the different aspects uh, of amateur radio. Of course, we had some free pens and pencils and things, gave a few of those away. Uh, again, just to, you know, we were there answering questions from the public and uh, offering the, the literature to, uh, to anybody who was interested. So we had a really great time. It, it, it was a pretty nice day. It's a bit overcast for, uh, for a lot of it, but it, it was helping keep the temperatures down. And there was a little bit of breeze most of the time, and then we had some sun towards the end. So for an event like this, it was actually a pretty nice day. Uh, didn't rain. Uh, it wasn't too hot. Uh, so those are those are usually nice things. So uh, we've got a, an example of uh, making contacts uh, or at least calling CQ coming up here in just a moment. And we'll let you listen to that and we'll wrap things up uh, here in just a few seconds. CQ, CQ, this is special event station, Kilo 4 Sierra, celebrating 20 years of Summer Nights Cruise in downtown Somerset, Kentucky. Calling CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Special Event Station, Kilo 4, Sierra. Calling CQ. All right, folks, we'll go ahead and wrap this short little video up. Uh, we had a great time going on this deployment. We had spent some time documenting setup and breakdown procedures. We were uh, implementing those, using those, uh, making sure we had everything stocked in the trailer that we needed. Uh, it's events like this that are A, fun, but B, help you get out there and do your setups, do your teardowns, make sure you've got all the equipment you need. Do you have uh, brackets? Do you need nuts and bolts? Do you need cables? You know, you'll find out what you what you may need extra of. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these events, getting this beautiful new trailer out in the public, uh, and we'll be, of course, uh, documenting those uh, efforts as well. So this is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73. Thank <laughs> you.